probably the most amazing experience that we could have wished for. <laughs> it's, it's a real gift. It just feels good, man. It does. Man, it's got some good vibes. It's like a musical Candyland. We think that beer can make life better for everyone, and certainly the arts can. Marrying those two, you know, it's just it's a better ride for everybody. Rancho de la Luna, amazing studio in Joshua Tree, California. Joshua Tree in general is a, it's, it's a unique spot on the planet and to be able to make music sort of in the epicenter of that, to get some of that kind of juju on, on our recordings is what we're after. Uh, we have Haunted Summer with us, vocab company with us, and we have Gail Skidmore with us. Started a couple of their projects at Ninkasi Studios and it's getting thick out here. Describe as dream pop, experimental, sometimes even folk. But for us, it's just like a free music, you know, like kind of throwing the, the boundaries out the door. And Today, we're going to tackle one of our oldest songs that we've never really felt comfortable recording anywhere else, but we feel like this is the perfect place and time. <laughs> Making beer is a lot like writing music. You just kind of go, you follow your heart and see what comes of it. We could easily sponsor bands and not be involved in the music side, but it's not as authentic and it's not as fun, frankly, as it is to get in there with them and get your fingers on the faders and actually be producing this music with them and um, even about the art first. Selfie stick. Right on. Gene. Get that yeah. synth in the selfie stick. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm all done. <laughs> 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 Dude, me and Dante just had a whiplash moment right now, dude. Holy shit. That was dude. the raddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Dude, oh my god, had, dude. Just had a whiplash you okay? moment. Are you alright? Uh, <laughs> it almost went on fire, dude. No.